Um. Yeah, but you you really have to conform to be a good eater, and I think that's like a hard thing. It's really hard. Is 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 difficult because you're not the you're you might be the only one wanting to eat a certain way, and then you have someone else buying the groceries, or you have somebody else that you you have to cook for, and they don't want to eat that, or they bring something around you, and you're just like, what you got, you know? And it's 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 really difficult, and I don't and I don't think people who are smaller can understand it because they may always have been small, and there are some people who who get on there and they're like, do you like being fat? Well, if you don't like me being fat, then don't cheat. Wow. Another overweight person is going to tell me not to cheat. That's really going to help me. That's The way that it's said is really going to help me. No, it's not. Um... People can be cruel and ugly and not even understanding your situation and they just know that you're fat and you need to lose weight. Um, people don't even look at me, you know, as being beautiful or, or cute. I've gone natural and I just started to wear my hair out um, when I moved to Texas. I think it was right before I moved to Texas. Um, I just started to wear my hair out because I have traction alopecia. I have bald spots that do not grow back and have not grown back since I graduated high school plus new ones on top of that from from uh, being miseducated about uh, hair extensions. So I've done that to myself and I have to live with it. I have to disguise it every day. But I'm so I was so tired of wearing wealths and tracks and wigs. I was so tired of making wigs and, and tracking my hair up and sewing it in and trying to be something that I'm not. I mean, I love wearing straight hair because I love to do hair. I love makeup. I love. I don't love makeup as much as I love doing hair. Um, but I do love different looks. And with my hair not being full or um, not being without ball spots, I can't wear the same natural hairstyles as I would like, so that means my hairstyle is not that diverse as I would like it to be, which causes me to go back to sewing in tracks or making wigs um, for myself. But um, being heavier and then having my hair this way, it doesn't really help me, it doesn't really make have let me have that wow factor um, I got a couple of uh, things I, I'm thinking of doing wearing bows or uh, wearing different um, headbands or um, things like that and um, trying to get a different look and I think I'm just gonna do that for a while as my hair grow out. I want my hair to be big and froey and, and you know, I really want it to be like that. So um I'm not gonna cut it. Um I just try to edu educate myself about it, but I think if I lost weight I just will feel better. But I also think I will look better. Um I have a lot of pictures that you can't really see. You can see how I look without my makeup, and, I, and it's horrendous. It's really, really horrendous. Um, I have dark circles. I have these lines, dark lines from when I had um, burns from a different product that I used by Avon, cleansing facial product. But it's just a lot going on, and I feel like if I lost weight, um, I would feel better. I'll be able to cope with with being bald or having to cover up that. I think I'll be able to cope with it better because I have something else. I think working on my weight and, and just maintaining it once I get to where I want to be um, is going to take my mind off of that. But I can't get to that point with all of this cheating. Now, okay, 
<clears throat> to be honest, this is what I this is what I eat on a normal basis. <clears throat> I eat baked chicken, not fried. We bake chicken twice a week almost. Bake um bake chicken, bake fish. Uh, we rarely fry anything. If we fry something, it's every probably like once a month ground turkey, we don't eat beef, don't have pork, we don't have pork beef in the house or anything like that, um, swine, whatever you want to call it, we only have ground turkey, we have turkey bacon, we have fish, we have salmon, and we have boneless skinless chicken breast, and all of them can go in the oven, and that's what we do, I buy frozen vegetables or canned vegetables to go with it, brown rice, but the thing about it is, we only eat it like once a day, um, instead of us eating like three times a day. I cook once a day, and that's when my boyfriend's going to get to go for work, and we eat. But I need to eat healthier like that. I need to eat more food like that. Um, we don't buy soda. If we get ice cream, we get frozen yogurt, which I love. I love ice cream, so I had to get something that substituted, so I got that. Um, but it's just, I don't know what I'm doing. I think it's because I'm really not eating. Sometimes I won't eat until I eat that, or I eat um, a bowl of cereal, and then I eat that, and then I eat something else, and then I eat yogurt. But I really think I just need to try portion control, um, portion control, and... I have to restrain myself from eating past 8 o'clock. And I really think that's going to help because I think once you eat past 8 o'clock, you really don't get a chance to get in an extra workout or or your metabolism slowing down for the night. Um, I really think that it doesn't store fat or anything. It's just it, you go to bed full. It's never a good idea to go to bed full. So while I'm still up and active, I, I think I want to just eat that. So I'm going to really try to do that, which I said before, and it didn't work. But <sighs> y'all pray for me because I do need some prayer. Pray that I get a job. Pray that I lose this weight. Pray that I don't go insane from just, I don't know, being crazy. I love you guys. Keep keep in touch and comment and do whatever you want to do and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Until the next vlog, bye.